Hey everyone, I'm Gigi with Spirit Readings. Um, today I'm introducing uh, the Full Moon and Taurus reading on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, I took one question from that reading and I'm going to break it down for each sign. If you have any questions about the read or would like to book one, uh, contact me through email or on Facebook or Instagram. It It is a $15 reading, but there is a lot to it. Um, so, without further ado, let's break it down for each sign. Alright, Aries. Just let things be. Don't try to control everything. And I know that that is hard when you are a, a fire sign in the leadership role you're very uh, a take action type of person so to just <laughs> let things be and don't try to control everything can be extremely hard and I get that but it is for the best um, Taurus trust that I do have your back so uh, that's you know the universe spirits angels um, all working together to have your back Taurus um, and the full moon herself uh, I believe that so there you go Taurus a Gemini this is your guidance from the universe be patient some things take more time that patient word right we don't we don't really like hearing uh, be patient <laughs> at all I know I don't and that and Gemini is my rising sign so it's like really patient nah but you know sometimes you gotta all right cancer and this is my Venus sign wait for the right time to present itself to you sorry I have a little visitor today and she's trying to help my niece is moving and you know we had ten dogs already so what's one more so baby here, little miss baby, keeps trying to help and move the uh, camera around. She's not really too sure what to think about the other guys and they're all up in her biz. But anyway, yeah, Cancer, wait for the right time to present itself to you. Um, I kind of feel like this is uh, in regards to something you are manifesting. Uh, you've put it out there and now it's it's waiting <laughs> you're waiting on it <laughs> yeah yeah that's what yeah okay Leo this is my sun sign quit trying too hard rest and relax and yeah there are times most definitely in my life where I uh, try too hard especially if I feel something slipping away sorry my other dogs are going nuts today too so I don't know what's going on Virgo believe in yourself and your gifts um, I do see there are times of struggling really hard in is this real is this message I'm getting real are these feelings real like just really struggling with believing so believe in yourself and your gifts uh, Libra the universe and spirit is saying with this full moon learn how to be on your own uh, I see this as a time of releasing and oftentimes when we release someone or something we often find that we uh, release ourselves so uh, no matter where you are in life uh, learn to be confident in being alone if that's where you're at right now um, and there's nothing wrong with that you know we all go through seasons and cycles where we're meant to be alone and there's nothing wrong with that uh, Scorpio make the best choice for you Scorpio so uh, 
course that's going to be different because it could be so many different areas there Scorpio but whatever it is you know option A option B or it could be hey option C I'm gonna pave my own way because I can see that as well and if that's what's the best choice for you then that is the one that you should take Scorpio all right Sagittarius you took the right path at the right time for yourself. So if you've really been doubting when you first branched out and uh, in life, when you were like, am I going to go career education wise or am I going to go love wise? And, you know, you gave it your all you poured every ounce of yourself into the direction you took and maybe you didn't give enough time or you feel like now looking back like well I should have stepped up my game with the other side too but just know it's not too late you can always you know explore the other option and path now um, but just know that at the very beginning you did take the right path whichever way you chose to go it was right for you at that time and it's still right for you now and there's nothing wrong with wanting to expand and broaden your horizons and spirit saying have it all you know uh so i i feel like if that's where you feel led to go that it is quite possible that you could have it all because you are a fire sign you do take action and you're secure where you're at now because you did give it your all when you went the direction you went so that's a very beautiful message for uh, Sagittarius uh, Capricorn know your worth and don't accept less uh, if they're not offering you a seat at the table don't be content with just sitting to the side getting scraps and Capricorn's my moon sign and I know I've been guilty of this well you know at least I'm getting something but I'm not sitting at the table I'm not even at the kids table you know so if you feel like that applies to you in your situation know your worth and don't accept less when you know better do better <laughs> basically uh, thank you Maya Angelou and thank you spirit and I probably just totally botched her last name out uh, so much going on and retrograde woo woo hey okay anyway <laughs> Aquarius uh, make up your mind no more fence sitting uh, what I've been seeing so much is I'm all stretched out on this fence I'm comfy got my shoes off my legs stretched out I'm kicked back leaning against the post you know I plan to stay here a while but I feel like you're meant to go one way or the other and this fence sitting is hurtful to other people for one plus it's hindering your own growth for two and which possibly could lead to hurting you more in the long run uh, so you know decisions aren't always easy they're hard sometimes and when feelings are involved and you know usually anything you do in life there's going to be feelings involved so you have to really make up your mind Aquarius and you know don't keep anyone waiting that or on the back burner that you know you don't actually see something with uh, I don't know. Uh, Aquarius is an air sign 
and air is, you know, the mind. Uh, so you guys are strong in your minds. You're usually in your minds thinking several things at once. And, uh, wow. Yeah. You may have to release as well, uh, with this full moon, uh, to be able to move forward as well. Pisces, remember to breathe. This too shall pass. So, whatever's going on with your life, it may be, it's been so chaotic for a while, and, you know, this could be finances, relationship, moving. I do see, like, I'm here, I'm there, now I'm over here, not real sure how long I'm going to be here. It just feels like a lot of movement in a short amount of time. Uh, of course, that's going to be different, like I said. But remember to breathe, because this too shall pass. Um, you'll be able to catch your breath. You'll be able to rest and relax and uh, feel grounded again. Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> Thank you, spirit, because my brain was like, oh, blink. Or I get the squirrel shiny brain. Uh, so anyways, that's a look at uh, one of the questions from my full moon and Taurus reading. Uh, guidance from the universe. Uh, there are 15 questions and it's $15. Like I said, if you would like to know more, you can find me on Facebook or Instagram. I'll link that below as well as my email. Um, I want to say thank you. Blessed be. Namaste and goodbye.